now for something completely different. Now I'm taking a quick video to tell you all about how I turned my skateboard into a go-kart. I saw that they had these kits for that you can turn a hoverboard into a go-kart, but they had nothing for a skateboard. And no matter how much money you pay, I don't think there's a hoverboard that goes faster than 10 miles an hour. And they don't have a very long range either. So skateboards can go twice as far or triple as far, depending on how much money you invest. So my skateboard cost me around 300 bucks. And it, without all the hardware, it goes about 18 to 20 miles an hour. Blah, 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 blah. It goes about 15 or 16 miles an hour. Uh, I guess also I was wearing a backpack full of crap. I think it's all that ice cream slowing you down. So it's still pretty fast. You'll see in the video. I only used two screws for the seat. There's two screws, one right here and one right here. So that's the only two holding the frame on. And a bungee cord in the front because I figure with just these two, this thing can slide back and forth. So originally this is where the seat goes and sits back here and then the wheels for the hoverboard would go there. So these handles are more like an emergency brake if you push them down. And there was a front wheel on the front which was pretty useful because it was up off the ground. And then there was a adjustment plate that was also pretty useless so i ended up there's already screw, screws drilled into the bottom of it or holes drilled in the bottom of this um and so i drilled the holes all the way through so that i could basically take some tent stakes and wrap them around and make it to my liking now if you want to do something temporary so you can adjust it for other people then i don't use tent stakes use screws or something i guess uh nothing else fancy you can see there's the screws that came through for the seat you don't need to use screws quite that long but um um, your footage what it looks like when I ride it and you could actually also put a camera here and have a sideways dolly because it has a hand remote you could actually use it as a camera dolly although there's no suspension so if you don't have a gimbal it could be bumpy I will also put some links in the description on where you can get skateboard and this particular model I can't vouch for any other frames that you put on but luckily this one wasn't too difficult to make match for my skateboard. And, and since I'm too old to learn how to ride on a skateboard that wants to move out from under me the minute I stand on it, this was a much safer alternative and pretty fun. I'd be too scared to ride that thing.